Right. Peace and greetings to you. This is Dr. O, the PA Pro, otherwise known as Omar Abdul Malik. Um, I wanted to talk to you tonight about a, uh, an exciting book that I just received in the mail, and it is the you can see this, the ultimate medical mnemonic comic book, and it's written by uh, Dwayne A. Williams and Isaac um, N. Yakubov. I hope I didn't uh, butcher, butcher your name, Mr. Yakubov, but um, these two guys are uh, outstanding physician assistants, and um, they wrote a book. Uh, something I always wanted to do was, was um, make a collection of all of the uh, the pictures and things that I use as mnemonics throughout school, but these these guys these guys did that, and the book was illustrated or by Ian Baker. You can see that, and this young lady on the bottom, uh, Miss Nicole Lamb, and you can get this book for I think it sells for ninety dollars on on uh, Amazon. Um, and that's the color version. I think the black and white version is $70. I got the color version because if, if any of you have seen of my um, previous videos, my struggle, one of the ways I uh, got to school was by, you know, drawing a lot of doodles and, and crazy mnemonics. And I, I did it in color. I, I tend to be a, a visual learner. The book is about, it's, oh yeah, here there, 470 pages. Here's the guys on the back. I think you, you can see these guys on, on Facebook. So this is uh, Ishak and Dwayne and, um, oh, and Rachel. I don't know who Rachel is. But the book has got a lot of good mnemonics. On the front page, the first mnemonic is um, children who miss school due to strep throat will fail, F-A-E-L, instead of getting an A. So the fail is F-A-E-L, fever, absence of cough, lymphadenopathy, tender and anterior, uh, exudates on the tonsils. So it's if you look on the uh, person's tonsils, you'll see these um, exudates. Now, that actually segues into a very important point that um, the authors talk about. This is uh, in the preface, the preface here, it says... Um, it is not a traditional textbook and should not be used as such. Not all major diseases are, pr uh, are present here, but it is a light-hearted, very informative, organized approach to mastering many of the topics and diseases you will come across in your clinical practice. Um, it is meant as a supplement or adjunct to a traditional or non-traditional textbook and shouldn't be used as a sole source of information. I was so glad that they, the authors put the, um, that caveat in here because it's, you know, I would say just looking through this, I haven't finished reading it, but you really have to have a good understanding of what I would say basic medicine, um, of, of like internal medicine in particular, because you're going to get, you would get lost with some of the mnemonics if you hadn't had at least you know half a semester of physical diagnosis in conjunction with um, something like anatomy and physiology and um, and uh, clinical clinical chemistry, so here's let's see where is a here's a something that that stood out to me. There's a I don't know if you could, I hope you can see that. This is um, a mnemonic about cirrhosis. A, B, C, D, E's of cirrhosis. A, ascites. So you'd have to know what ascites is. And ascites is when uh, fluid builds up in the uh, peritoneal cavity. So like right, right over the abdomen and the, and the liver. B12 deficiency. Uh, coagulopathy with advanced disease. Detoxification is impaired. So a person, you know, these, they stay in almost a, kind of an inebriated state. A increase in estrogen, which will lead to gonochromastia. So you'll see men with, with breast. Uh, flapping tremor. So this kind of flapping tremor of the hand. Uh, glucose abnormalities. 
so either hypo or hyperglycemia, uh, hemoglobin, uh, increased infections, jaundice, so hence the gentleman here with the, uh, the yellow skin, and I think that's why it becomes important to get to get this book in, in color format if you can. Uh, K, vitamin K deficiency, L for lethargy, or encephalopathy, so the person will be very lethargic. And I actually, this stands out to me because I, I actually have had a few patients who have um, cirrhosis of the liver secondary to um, uh, uh, long-term alcohol use. And uh, this is one of the things that I, I think when I mentioned before, it, this may not be an ideal book for somebody who has no understanding or very, very limited understanding of medicine. Uh, if you're a student, I would say go ahead and get this, but certainly don't let it be your, your sole um, uh, source of, a, of, a, of reading, but use it in conjunction with your textbooks. Uh, if you're a med student, a nursing student, or a physician assistant student, or, or a pharmacology student even, uh, as, you, as you learn more about medicine, I think this will prove to be a very useful tool um, to help you remember many aspects of, of medicine. Uh, or if you're somebody like me who's been practicing for, I think it's 15 years now, there's a lot of things that I have to know uh, and a lot of things that I, I forget because I haven't seen some of them since, since school. Like here's, here's some things with dermatology that, that I haven't seen since school. So it, it keeps somebody like me abreast of uh, informa medical information that they may have forgotten. So I hope you found this, this review helpful. Uh, please go out and get it. Or you don't really have to go out and go on your uh, laptop or your, your cell phone and, and purchase it. It's, it's, to me, it's a very good investment. Um, $90, it's, it's, it's not that much, or, or $70 for the black and white. I hope this helped. Uh, you can reach me on Facebook. And I'm also going to post my, my um, uh, email uh, for those of you all that may have questions pertaining to um, uh, PA school. Take care. Peace.